What was the uh, inspiration behind implementing this new yeah. schedule change and everything? So our old bus network has been around really for 30 years. Obviously we added routes and made changes along the way, but this was an opportunity to take a look from scratch how people are traveling around the region. We know travel patterns have changed in those 30 years, but we weren't able to really ever do that deep dive and find out where people live, where they need to go. Um, and so it gave us that great opportunity. It also gave us an opportunity to really interact with our riders, with businesses, with the public and the stakeholders and hear, what do you want out of your bus network? And what we heard was more late night service, we want weekend service, and we want our buses to come more frequently. And that's what we were able to do with this network. We know it's not perfect. We know this is just our first step. We want so much more. We want to not use timetables where a bus is coming every 15 minutes and you don't have to worry about it. We're not there yet, but we hope to get there. Good deal. So with that being said, in order to celebrate the launch of this, you guys are offering free rides yeah. from yesterday through Wednesday, right? Yeah. So with the free rides, is that just to kind of get people excited for this new schedule? Or? Yeah, it's definitely a way for people who maybe didn't try transit to try transit this week. Um, but it's also a thank you to our riders. Um, we know with the launch of a new network, there's probably going to be a little bit, confu a little bit of confusion on, on where I go and where did this bus go. Um, and so it's another way to kind of make it a little bit easier on you to not have to pay for that bus that's, that's driving you down there. But we did do tons of outreach. Um, I had a, a team of employees called the Sacre T Street Team who rode every single route for days, for months. We started in June, we're still doing it now. They'd be at transit centers, light rail stations, riding all these affected routes, handing out information about what was going to happen. We had face-to-face -face contact with over 15,000 riders in that time. Um, that's unprecedented. No one has done that before here. Um, and so we got to experience what it was like for our riders. We got to hear a lot of great feedback that they were so excited that they were going to have weekend service. That's something we were really lacking last weekend. And so we're really excited about that. A lot of people who work late nights or want to maybe spend some time downtown, the bus service had stopped before. And so we're really excited about that late night service and we know that's going to make a difference in people's lives. All right, and the main story today a lot of people, uh, seems like a few, uh, quite a few riders are confused with yeah. the new schedules and they're trying to navigate through the confusion. Yes. We actually spoke to a few earlier today that were a bit confused about this new uh, service. Uh, as far as people who are confused, uh, what is the best way for them to kind of understand and to get acclimated to this new? Yeah, we have a few different ways. Um, one, we have a trip planner. It's an online trip planner and so you can enter in where you are and where you're going and it will tell you exactly which bus route or a bus route train combo you need to get there. We also have a new online forum that we launched this last week where you could type in your question and someone will get back to you. Of course we have our call center which now has expanded hours for people and we also have staff across the network who look like me, have a yellow button, and they're out there helping riders navigate the system. I was just down at Consumers River helping, I helped about five people figure out that there wasn't a 55 there, but there is a 68 that matches that bottom south route and I helped someone get to where they needed to go. So. We're, we're out there, we're trying to help as much as we can, um, and we know there's gonna be a little learning curve at the beginning. I gonna say, I guess it's the last thing for me. You gave very good, thorough, explicit directions on how to navigate through the confusion, but <laughs> to anyone else out there that's watching this and it's like, I still don't get it, I still don't understand. Yeah. What would you, what would you tell them? Um, I think if they're trying to figure it out themselves every day, um, we're gonna keep staff out there. We're, we have a plan for the rest of the week, we're gonna be out there, we're gonna be helping you. You can call in. We're handing out our system maps. We're handing out the, the pocket timetables you can keep with you wherever you go. But also, if you have website access, go to sacrt.com slash forward. All of the information you need is right there. We have a summary sheet explaining what happened to the old routes and where, which route you should now take. We have that online forum, and we also have that online trip planner. So I really think we have the resources there. You might just have to do a little homework to figure it out. Perfect. Do well, you have anything? Yeah. Anything yeah. that you want to add that I didn't ask you? No, because you got the free ride stop. That was a yeah. big thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. And that's through the end of Wednesday. Through right? Wednesday, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Which is